I love a big coloured gem. 20 years ago I started to play around with cutting the stones myself. My jewellery's a little bit edgy. I mean, I like to be a bit provocative. I like to be a bit, you know, challenging with the jewellery. It certainly isn't the jewellery that is for everybody. It's very sea-inspired. This little fella here is a puffer fish. He's got a, he's kind of a, interesting little guy. He's in uh, diamonds and black jade and uh, he's got a little moonstone in his mouth like a bubble. This piece here is, is, a, is a very popular piece. This is like inspired from a shark's jaw. So it's uh, something that maybe isn't an obvious starting place for a for a piece of woman's jewellery, but it seems like it kind of works. You even said yourself you loved the ring that went with that. So, you know, but this is starts as inspiration with the shark's jaw. This ring here, this is a hermit crab, and this is done in black diamonds and blue sapphires, and his, his little pinches move a bit there. So, you know, with, with my jewellery, you, uh, you can sometimes get a friend. This is a coral. It's underneath a piece of quartz. So it's, it's sort of a, a stone that I've kind of used two gemstones and created something that's a little bit extraordinary, you know, because coral is beautiful, but it's opaque, and uh, crystal's beautiful, but it's, you know, it's clear. But like putting the two together, you get this sort of more dynamic piece. So, so that, that's a perfect example of, of what I might use as, as the gem. And then around, around that, you know, the metal is, is 18 karat gold, white gold. I've got, in this particular piece, I've got uh, black diamonds and brown diamonds. And then in the tail here is rubies. I've been through them from like uh, Madonna to J-Lo to, to Cameron Diaz, Charles Theron, Pink, Christina. <laughs> Mickey Rourke, <laughs> um, Jay-Z, a, a lot of people have, uh, you know, have one or several or, uh, you know, have a lot of my jewellery from this kind of world because the jewellery is kind of very flamboyant. Christina was sort of becoming this unofficial spokesperson for us, you know, and I, there was one particular time she was presenting the MTV Awards and she, had, she got changed 10 times. And, uh, and we had a set of jewellery for every change. And it was after that, and I think we got a lot of publicity for that, especially in America and, and England, we got a lot of press. And, uh, and everyone, I guess, knew that it was Stephen Webster jewellery. And, and so she was kind of becoming this unofficial spokesperson. And I just said to her one day, why don't you become the face of our brand? Um, it's the right time to have it here now. I never felt so much